Assalamu alaikum Soccer Rocket. Uh, welcome back to a new episode of Soccer Rocket. Uh, it's uh, we're going to talk about the beautiful second friendly of Morocco this time against uh, the Democratic Republic Congo. Uh, you've seen the match. If you if you didn't see the match, the game, uh, it was a one one draw. Today I'm talking with one of my favorite fellas out there, uh, football connoisseur. He's from Netherlands. Can you introduce yourself, man? It's an honor. Hello, Shukran. Uh, hello, guys. I'm Ali from MVN. Um, a big football Instagram page. We started like a couple of months ago. Uh, due of uh, due to because of some uh, difficulties in the football world against Moroccan players and people from Moroccan descent, we want to give them the voice to talk, a stage to talk, and represent themselves. And we uh, we like uh, we like to talk about football. Uh, we are uh, in, in most of our. Uh, in our hearts with Moroccan fans and we like, we like to watch Moroccan football and the national team, the, the, the competition, players all over Europe and uh, that's why we started and uh, yeah, and I met this uh, this guy a long time ago yes. on YouTube, <laughs> I've seen his YouTube channel, he was posting uh, non-stop and then one, one moment he just, yeah. he just stopped. So I, uh, I contacted him on Instagram and said, yo Kaza. <laughs> You you gotta you gonna bring you you gotta bring your end game because this is this is not the way, man. The fans need you. Yes, life kicked in. You and know. In time of in time of need, then the soccer rocker is there to, to talk about football. Yes, it was always a pleasure, man. We started that um, we had our first life talk, right, on uh, MVN and soccer rock yeah. on Instagram. Follow both pages and do not for, yeah. forget to subscribe to this channel because this is where the magic happens. Yeah. Do it, do it, do it. Thumbs up, thumbs up, do it. <laughs> thumbs up, do man. It. Yeah, thumbs up and just subscribe and do not forget to uh, show some love to MVN uh, on Instagram. Uh, this is where we started, where we had our first talk and first interview about Moroccan football, what's going on in the world, where are the big talents. And uh, I'm super, you know that I'm a fan of uh, Moroccan players in, uh, in the Netherlands and Ali knows them all, knows it all and gives us uh, perfect information. Um, yeah, and he's the first, always comes up with some breaking news. So that's why I'm excited to talk to him today. We're going to talk about that second friendly and more. So stick around right to the end. You don't want to miss it. And uh, let's go, Ali. You, you watched the game. What can you, what did you see? What happened? What struck your mind? Um, it was like, the first one was like uh, against Senegal. Uh, they were, uh, but the difference this time was a lot of ball position. I think a real, a real, uh, real, uh, real difference. A lot of ball position. Um, different names. Uh, let me start first by starting 11. Omar Kaduri started for, uh, this time uh, in, uh, in the starting 11. Uh, let me see. Muni was the goalie. Uh, Abdul Hamid was the center center back next uh, Sami Amir. And uh, Hakimi was the right winger again. A lot of you played this time uh, in, the, in the starting 11 as well. Yeah. Uh, Mazari was uh, was given a chance to start. Uh, you you saw the difference in, in on the right side. There were a lot of attacks, uh, but especially against uh, Senegal, I, I found the difference between Congo and and Senegal. This Congo uh, surprised me a lot. Yeah, he played too, attacking like like more than Senegal did. And a lot of uh, fast-paced, uh, skillful players. I thought Yannick Bolasi, Yannick Bolasi was playing at uh, Congo at that moment. Yeah. Some some players <laughs> on the on the on the far side of the of the of the back line, ma making skills, making uh, people uh, drop, uh, nutmegs, you, you name it, man. Uh, but that's that's what I have noticed the at the first moment. But uh, I saw Morocco struggle a little bit with uh, creating chances. But uh, at the same time, I saw Eamon Barkouk again with a shot on the second line that was hard, but good, a good save from the goalie. And then Morocco was uh, building up, attack from attack, sometimes a little bit uh, messy in the, in the, in the starting uh, pass from the, yes. from the back line. Yeah. Midfield sometimes, Sufan Amrabad was struggling. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's concentration problems, yeah. maybe it's something, something, uh, something else. Hmm. But uh, maybe it's it's uh, he's he's tired uh, a little bit. Uh, yeah, uh, the 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 puff is out. Hmm. I don't know. But uh, 
but it, he 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 uh, he he, uh, he checked himself after that. He was playing good, a lot of defensive work, um, good passing after after for a couple of bad passes. Uh, Semi Amir was a little bit insecure sometimes, but uh, his build up was good this time. A lot of headers, uh, uh, he, uh, he put some headers away, uh, defended well. Even the sports commentator said he had something from Nordin Nord Nord Nabet, yeah, yeah, that's the true. way he defends. <laughs> but yeah. Nordin Nabet is a big name. I cannot nah, uh, nah. <laughs> compare those guys He's now. He's still very young. But man. that was my vision, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yes, I totally and feel you. And one thing, uh, uh, Sokoroka, yeah. what I wanted to tell, sorry that I, uh, that I interrupted you. No, no, just This keep guy, Semi, yeah. has three, three brothers that also play for both. Good. So maybe they're all going to be Moroccan internationals. One is a goalie, Marhaba, one is, I think, uh, <laughs> a winger, and okay. one is also a midfielder. Perfect family. So, uh, I didn't it all. know that. I saw that, I saw that uh, yeah, I saw that uh, on a page, and I saw their, uh, their all brothers, and they all look, as, look alike, man. That's good, That's good man. That's Marhaba, crazy, man. man. Yeah, uh, man. Well, yeah, well, yeah. why not? Welcome, so everybody. That's my, my <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The next generation uh, always uh, yeah, man. needs to come. It, it needs to come, uh, get going right now. Uh, yes, but I feel yeah. you on that on your um, on your uh, opinion about the game, especially uh, what I saw what the, was those um, insecurities in the defense. Um, I don't know what's wrong. I think it was a little bit of fatigue. Everybody was a little tired, maybe. Um, I think it's intense and in all those weather changes, climate changes. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but yeah. they seemed a little tired. And uh, Amrabat was the first player that I didn't see on. on um, you were you were gone for a second, but <laughs> you're back. Um, no, no problem. I'm there. I'm there. I didn't see him. Um, yeah, on a good level today. But yeah, you can't be there always. There. You, you you should be allowed to be um, tired from time to time. Um, Amrabat, Khadori, that wasn't good enough in my opinion especially the defense i saw so many gaps and that's why i believe congo was the perfect team for that test before the qualification games because those are the the, the teams that we struggle with uh traditionally right we don't struggle with the big names we always struggle with those underestimated teams where nobody knows the big players and they come up and they were aggressive and you saw the fights especially on that hakimi side you saw that Tackles and everything. Uh, Luska. I like that. I like that about Congo and a lot, lots of respect for that performance. And uh, that was a perfect test. You saw that Senegal is a, is a team on a high level and you play with them. And they have that technically gifted players and everything. And But you see your weaknesses against uh, in, in games against Congo and all of that. You see Morocco struggled with Benin. You don't struggle with uh, the big names, always with the, the small team so i hope we can get more tests like that um and i hope we don't uh, get congo <laughs> on the africa cup because that was yeah. a very very tough game man. <laughs> you saw that physically yeah. strong aggressive everybody it, it didn't seem like sure. a friendly game in my opinion it was like a semi semi-final or something quarterfinal in a, uh, in a coup de fric. everybody was fighting especially on the congo side so mashallah that she can can wear <laughs> And we're at him. Yeah, man. A little I'll... bit of soup, man. Yeah, a little bit of super, was... man. All those uh, guys, man. The guys yes, are. Yes, we saw that. <laughs> big, saw that. Man. We want to beat Morocco right now, and that's that's yeah. the test you need. So it was very good for uh, Ali Hachet and the team. And uh, who, who were the players that you see uh, get a basis? Uh, get a get a. How can I say that? Starting starting yeah. play. Yeah. Starting play, eleven. Starting eleven. Yeah. Yeah. Who do you see there? Uh, Barkov, man. The man, the man has, yeah. the man has sold me, man. Killer, me too. <laughs> you really sold me, man. Uh, if he was a salesman, I was gone. German Moroccan. <laughs> yeah, man, he was good, man. Yes, yes, on fire, man. Great. Do you know what? What strikes me? What I, what, what, what caught my attention with this guy? I've seen the guy play against Ajax in the friendly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think a couple of months ago. Yeah. Uh, enter Frankfurt against yeah. Ajax in the in Amsterdam Arena. He, I, he struck my attention. He came in in the second half, and he had some good 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 movements in the small uh, small space, uh, spaces. He can he can uh, build up, 
com uh, uh, combine with a lot other players, and he has a good shot and a good vision to 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 give the the true balls. Yeah, exactly. He's good, man. Yeah, I think and he he's a he's a, a winner for Morocco, especially uh, to bring Morocco to the next level. 22 years old, uh, man. Advance maybe to yeah. a World Cup final, or maybe inshallah World Cup or an Africa Cup nation final. Uh, Semi is a is a great, great yeah. player yeah, yeah. that I've yeah. uh, enjoyed enjoyed watching. Uh, sometimes a little bit secure in the build up. Mm-hmm. Sometimes secure 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 in the defense work. Sometimes he thinks he can outsmart or out uh, physically uh, outsmart the the, Triple, the yeah. African players. Yeah. But they're he, he, he don't know yet, man. African yes. players, man, the physicality, it's no pro it's 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 something it's something uh that's you something can't play you, around you, with you that. Cannot, you cannot compare you cannot compete yeah. with that man. No. In, 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 impossible. Especially you can dribble. You should get rid of that ball. Get rid of the ball. Play the pass, play easy passes, get rid of the ball. Don't play around, dribble. Like you saw that two scenes where you almost lost the ball. Man. That could have cost another goal. So um, yeah, yeah, you should be small and slick and just fast. Just play easy balls and keep the ball rolling, right? Do not play sure. around with African players. You you get punished real, real quick. <laughs> They're too strong and too how can I say that? Yeah, too aggressive. You see, you saw that they they stood like that on the opponent, right? Always there. It's a thin line, man. It's a thin yes. line from, Perfect. from 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 exploding yeah. to to. Defending, but over defending, and that's the thing. They can be offensive, but most of the times they're defensive. But today, I'll be honest with you, this surprised me a lot. The last me time too. I saw Congo play against Morocco was in 2017, the Afcon. Oh in, yeah, uh, true. I think it was in Gabon. I think yeah, it was in mm-hmm. Gabon. Mm-hmm. Again, in the in the in the group stages when Morocco was playing in the pool with Togo, uh, Côte d'Ivoire, and uh, and uh, Congo. Uh, yeah, with, that, played, with that funny coach, they played, didn't play the same. With that funny goalkeeper, right? Was that? Yeah, with, uh, with yeah, yeah. snake movement. With that skate, snake dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that, man. I love that. Yeah, team. I hate that guy. I hate that guy, man. <laughs> For the love of God, man, I hate that guy. Yeah, well, but, uh, I thought it was funny, man. That's 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 that's, that's a pissing, pissing somebody off, man. Okay. <laughs> When somebody scores and you just put dance. your snake movements like a, like a front front right in your face, yeah. like. This ah, I got you. Ah, psych. I got you. Ah, we scored again. You didn't score. You didn't lose. <laughs> Just like this. That's yeah, allowed. <laughs> Or like this, right? Like this. <laughs> yeah, man. That's, That's like, allowed. It's like a mental, 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 uh, <laughs> <F-U>. <laughs> mental. Yes, it's true. It's true. Yeah, I can't, I can't swear, man, because this comment is going to be on YouTube, man. <laughs> I know. I can, I can bleep it out, I guess. I don't know how to do it, but yeah, maybe. Uh, oh, no problem, no problem. Yes, but... Talking about Congo um, is another thing that struck me over the last, yeah, one or two years. African football has stepped on a higher level, in my opinion. Africa, uh, African football is there. We can compete with everybody now, in my opinion. We don't have to be afraid of anybody. Algeria, Morocco, we can play against Mexico, Netherlands, Germany, everybody. We don't have to be afraid anymore. Th- those days are over, Hamzina. So I-, I see a higher level of football. What do you think? I'm, I'm on. I'll be honest with you. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's really uh, stepping up. Especially when uh, there were times that they always will play the long ball and the, and uh, will tackle you and and make you make you sweat for every ball yeah. just by running at you. True. But uh, the past years, uh, the lot of uh, uh, coaches who came from Europe came there. They uh, put the Dutch and the European way of playing. They put it in the African systems, man. You can lose from everyone now, yeah. and that's the problem with uh, a lot of Moroccan fans. They're salty real fast. Yeah. We have played today against a team Congo. They have lost against Burkina Faso uh, a week ago, uh, 3-0. Now they played against Morocco, and then they know Morocco is the bigger team than Burkina Faso. So they have something to prove. Now the thing is, we have lost 2017 from them. We didn't lose today. But the thing is, the planes are shifting. That's true. You have to be honest with uh, with yourself. Uh, you didn't play for a year with the with the players. It's a second game, and I heard people the game was bad. The game was bad. Yeah, that's that's 
people, I'm sorry, they don't, they have no idea how football works because it's not only about names. You can't say Morocco, we have the bigger name, and that's why we have to win. That's not how, how the game works. You could lose against anybody. Benin showed us our mistakes. Okay, we beat ourselves, but they showed us how to do it. You can lose against anybody. If you, if we don't focus in the next games in, in November, we can lose against Central Africa. And that can happen because they have 11 players. They know how to play football. They have shoes. We have a, you know, you can, anybody could beat us anytime, at any time. And we can beat anybody, but it's all about, how can you say that? Um, yeah, focus and just being disciplined and all of that. You can, but those people who say you have to beat everybody because you're Morocco, that's not football fan. Those are, I don't know what they're looking at shirts or something really? but it's yeah. how the game works same with german fans uh, they they see like sweden oh yeah sweden we have to beat sweden mexico south korea you, you saw what happened right you, yeah. they said you saw oh, sweden okay. mexico south or south korea you have to beat them because we're germany no that's not how the game works man if you don't understand that future looks very grim for you <laughs> right yeah so. but the thing is uh, so uh, you said the uh, soccer rapper. the thing yes. is um, when we talk about Germany mm. let's not forget Germany the Mannschaft yeah. it's, 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 it's a big team I can it tell is. you the moment that they played the Afghan or, or the World Cup of 2018 in Russia they didn't they were not as quite as good as they are now they uh, they went with some problems uh, they Coach. left uh, Leroy Sané at home uh, wow. the team was not uh, fitting well wasn't uh, played uh, play together. Wasn't fitting to to the coach uh, of the, the way of playing. Um, they were in a, not in good phase of uh, of uh, playing football. That team wasn't good, good enough to to win the World Cup. It wasn't yeah. enough. Eventually, the team that has won the World Cup didn't deserve it as well to win it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> But the thing is that that was that World Cup. The, the team that for me that should had to win had to win the World Cup was Belgium. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, Belgium. Belgium played well. Um, I think England most uh, sometimes were uh, were playing good. Uh, let me see, Brazil. Yeah. They, they they played well. Most yeah, of the most well. of the times they played good, but didn't deserve it as well as much as the Belgium team. That's true. The yeah. comeback against uh, South Korea, unbelievable. Uh, Japan, with right? With the Moroccan flavor, with a little bit Moroccan flavor on it. Japan, you mean Japan? Um, yeah, Japan with yeah. the Moroccan flavor a little bit on it. Shadley, what's the Shadley? Fellaini. Fellaini. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm agreeing with you a thousand percent. But that's the thing. I'm in a, a WhatsApp group with some uh, Moroccan fans. Okay. Man, <laughs> I, I'm I'm Moroccan, 100 yeah. percent. Yeah. But in my way of thinking, I'm I'm just. How Normal you say football that? fan. No. Football yeah, I take spectator. I take it as it is. I've seen yeah. it. I've seen it. I I'll, I'll process it, and then I'll give my opinion. And I, I told them, yeah. people, we didn't play for a year. Yeah. This is the second game. Come on, man. We won from Senegal. What do you want else? We That's have won from the strongest team in Africa. Let me, I'll be honest. Uh, no disrespect to all my Algerian brothers. Yeah. <laughs> I disagree with you. Still, Algeria is number one. <laughs> <laughs> for you, it can be. I agree to disagree. No problem. <laughs> Africa, Africa. I have to say that. <laughs> big yeah. names. Algeria and Senegal. <laughs> Those are the two big names. Africa. Morocco, with all respect, I love my nation. Yeah. I love my football team. But we are working for We are working progress. We're still working on it. We have a new bones coach. Uh, the first time that he came, he gave us 50 names on a pre-selection. I've never yeah. seen that in my whole life. 50, man. Then... We cut some players up. We played uh, some friendly games. Uh, didn't win them. Uh, no, one we won one uh, game against Niger. Oh Niger. yeah. Niger, we won that game. Mm. Where but a goal from uh, Wally Dakarty. That was then. Then we played one official game against Mauritania with Zayesh as captain. Mm. We played. It was a draw. Then we went to Burundi. We won the game by a goal of Mazarawi and the city yeah, and Hakimi. That. So. Uh, I was happy that moment because we saw what the, what the coach was planning to play, how his uh, how his strategy in the in the field is going to be affecting the players. And now we see two games. I'm telling you, I, this guy I know I know what he's doing. I've seen it. I'm looking yeah. at his way of playing. 
sometimes they they uh, play full gas football like yes. the Germans say yeah. full pressure and sometimes he just let the and uh, the, the opponent come and then he snatched the ball and then the first thing you see what the players do they all run in the 16 like five I've never seen that with Morocco first yeah. the problem with Morocco was uh, before uh, before uh, this uh, this coach came and the coaches before this coach what he what his plan is is when Morocco is attacking you have to have multiple options in the 16 box of the of the opponent so you can choose who you, you can give the ball and that's that's something I've seen it's it's, it's gaining in the in the system the Moroccan players I see Sam Amla uh, mm. Al Kadouri so far yeah. they all run in the 16 yeah and very to, good. to try to score and that's something yeah. uh, what uh, what was what, what struck my uh, my attention caught my eye yeah it's good it's like uh how can we say that um everybody's there and just putting pressure on the defense no but they don't know how to who to defend right now right and everybody get the ball and bam just score and you saw that mazarawi goal uh how do you feel about that mazarawi goal um that you, we've seen today i have to give credit credits to al arabi because he did what i want the striker to do put pressure on the defense get the ball and he, he gave that assist it was perfect it was a very 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 strong scene one minute before the half time right yeah minute 44 uh, yeah i uh, i saw i've seen the uh, i saw the goal but you have to give the credit to omar al kaduri at <laughs> first before you give it to arabi because that sneaky sweaty ball that he gave to uh, al arabi <laughs> i didn't say i didn't see it come he just gave it behind the two last the last men yeah it came from the side al arabi uh, did his thing he had the, had the vision had the the the, the moment that he the saw mazari yeah. walking in the 16 like i said the players man if there is a ball in the 16 you will find five moroccans in the box to, to, yeah. to hit that ball especially with tanana i think tanana today played better than he played against senegal but one thing he could he could be if he scored today yeah he was the man he could number, be the man but he minute he, number 93 he right dropped ball after minute, he dropped minute, the ball minute 93 that that good ball he could have just he, he yeah. would have deserved it man he, he would have yeah, deserved man. it man that was he's he a was nice so guy well. yeah yeah man. he's so nice he seems so disciplined and he's he is the right player you need there he's, he has so much fire you, you can see it and he I, man, I wish that goal for him to to to, to happen, but maybe next time, inshallah. It's even yeah, I've better. spoken to the guy. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's nice. He's very nice. I, sp I speak a lot with the guy. It's, uh, I've spoken many times with him. I think now, uh, from the moment that he knew he was selected, mm -hmm. uh, I contact him by Instagram. I said, uh, Usama Tanana, mm -hmm. uh, we're happy that you've been selected by uh, by the by the coach, and they have seen you uh, play." And you deserve to be here. Uh, eventually, uh, he he, uh, he responded. Eventually, and from that moment, we are we have contacted uh, each other multiple times. We make some videos with the goals of uh, of yeah. him with Fitessa and with uh, if he's training with the Moroccan national team. But most of the times, um, he's he's a good guy. Only problem is with this with Tanana now. It's the same like against against Mali. In uh, 2018, when we uh, wanted to qualify for the World Cup, with that field on the on the Mali pitch, he was running with that ball. He was running. He was running, catching running, breath. Yeah. He was running. He was looking behind, looking front, looking where the goal is, looking where <laughs> yeah. the defender is. He had a lot of space. Eventually, he shot the ball. I thought there was a goal. I was screaming my lungs out, man. I was happy. Yeah. But eventually, I was looking at the at the, at the board. I watched it again. Why he scored? And, and let, let me tell you something. Even he himself said, "I was in my head. I have scored that goal. I was uh, I was counting. I was I, how how ready I counted it." See, bad luck. But I hope he gets that goal uh, again in the qualification games. Inshallah. So um, he deserves it, man. He's uh, one of my top favorite players at the moment. Osama Tanen, one of my favorite players on that national team right now, but I, I feel like I have to get Barkhouk on my jersey, man. Number 16, Barkhouk, because 
I don't know. Those both uh, those are the players I want to see. I hope they can stay healthy. What I really see is um, he was very underestimated in Germany. Uh, Eamon Balho. There was one coach, Friedhelm Funkel from Düsseldorf. He brought him to Düsseldorf because he saw that potential in that guy. And then he didn't uh, play a lot of minutes afterwards with the new coach. And then he went back to his hometown and uh, Eintracht Frankfurt. And uh, Frankfurt and Eintracht Frankfurt. And now he's getting, he's right on track. Yeah, yeah man. I agree with you. What you said, man, about Eamon Barkuk uh, was uh, it was underrated. But I, the guy, the guy can can play. I hope his team over his coach at uh, at Eintracht Frankfurt. I've seen him play with Morocco, but the guy, I'm telling you, man, he he, he, yeah. he surprised me a lot, man. On fire, he is on because fire. we when we were shooting our podcast and um, we have spoken about him, we all said. This guy didn't play a minute with his uh, with his team, but yeah. he's still selected. How is it possible? Eventually, I'm he's a su he's a good surprise. I'm a real good surprise. I'm happy to see him at the Morocco national team. He's uh, Dima Morib, Tabarka uh, Light, Kazawi, yeah. Kazawi, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hope he gets the chance with Frankfurt because he de he deserves it. And he's that as you said, he's that su surprise. Eamon Barkouk. Um, everybody, Soccer Rockins, if you're watching that video, write down in the comments below who was the player this, that surprised you the most. Who do you support them? Who are you rooting for? Who's your favorite player at the moment? Write it down in the comments below and just write down whatever you want to say. You can tell us, man, that video sucks, man. That video was good. I agreed with Ali from MVN. I disagreed with Yusuf from Soccer Rocko. Whatever you want. Just write it down in the comments below. Last I'll thing. Let me, uh, I wanted to say my last. Uh, yes. Uh, follow Soccer Rock on YouTube. Follow Soccer Rock on Instagram. Uh, subscribe to his YouTube channel. Let yeah. the comments uh, section know what you uh, what you like about his uh, YouTube channel, and uh, what kind of topics you need to talk about. Uh, if you want a collaboration with Soccer Rock, Soccer Rock, go uh, go collab with him. If you want a collaboration with MVN and Soccer Rock, let us know. That's the and one I wanted to say. Go follow him. <laughs> Shukran, yeah, man. Both, uh, inshallah, you're gonna you're gonna make a big a big step in uh, in the YouTube community and on Instagram. Um, yes. And uh, what can I say? Follow MVN. We're almost at the 10k uh, followers. If we hit the 10k followers, we'll do a special collab with Soccer Rocco. Yep, I'm a real down. Special man. one. Maybe, I'm down. Like, I think maybe two hours. Two hours, maybe. Better, we're going, uh, we're going to Germany then. Well, yeah, we're going to Mar 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 and we're going to be there and for a live session there. Yeah, why not? With the cameras on. Mar yeah. Just come and relax and... Yeah.